Stenodon is a semi-submersible drilling rig and she's used for drilling exploration wells. She was built in 2001 and has been in almost continuous service ever since. The drilling market has been very challenging over the last few years and in order to improve the marketability for Stenodon we're looking at making some modifications. Currently she's a dynamically positioned vessel and that means she can operate in water depths deeper than 300 metres. We're now looking at adding a mooring system to the rig so that she can operate down to 80 meter water depth. Um, so that's a fairly significant modification we're looking at making. The Stenadon drilling rig is being tested here in the offshore basin at Marin to investigate the motions, the slamming loads and the air gap. We have built a model of the Stenadon drilling rig at scale 1 to 50, including all geometrical details that are relevant for the model test. This includes the moon pool geometry, the live boats, the anchor racks and the trussers, for example. The next step after the model manufacture consists in preparing and measuring the weight distributions of the model. To do so, we use a dedicated oscillating table that measures accurately the weight properties, such as position of the center of gravity and inertia terms. Once this is done, the model is installed in a basin to be tested in waves. We have two primary objectives with this testing. Um, we want to look at viscous effects, which are important for the mooring loads, and we want to look at the air gap of the rig, particularly in significant sea states. By measuring the impacts of the waves using force panels on the model, we can then much more accurately determine the potential slamming loads on the rig and ensure that we have sufficient structural integrity. From the model tests, we're going to derive viscous effects, which we can then use for accurate calculation of the mooring loads. This saves us using generic formulations that have been put together for to be conservative when model test data is not available. We have connected the model in a horizontal soft spring mooring system, and we are looking at its behavior in extreme waves. We measure more than 100 signals. This includes the motions, the accelerations, the relative wave elevations around the hull and under the deck, and the slamming loads on the structures. From these signals, we can analyze and quantify the air gap and the slamming loads. These are important results for our clients to increase the safety and guarantee structural integrity of the hull. We're testing the model for different drafts, wave heights, wave directions, and wave periods because we want to make sure that we test the most critical conditions. For the most severe environment, we are even running many seeds of the same wave spectrum to get more reliable statistics of the air gap and slamming loads. The model testing results will be used to finalize the design, to optimize the mirroring system, and overall to make sure that we fully understand the implications of all the modifications we're planning to make. <laughs>